We have a sudden plunge in the tremors, both tectonic and uh, magmatic tremors. In the Grindavik, uh, as you can see here, the earthquakes are kind of uh, diminished, at least the very bigger ones. The same with the Odafel, which is a little hotter area, and the other area near it, which may uh, coincide almost with the Fregades field. They're all pointing to the lowering of the magma. That points to one thing, and that is that the magma that was present there is practically spreading instead of rising, getting closer to us. One reason can be that the spread of the rift has practically stopped and the magma which was there is gradually solidifying. This is in a way is a good news for Grindavik. We will not have the eruption in the Grindavik. So thumbs up for that. But in the Sorsang area, Hagafell and the nearby areas, we have yet continuation of the earthquakes. The uh, bulging of the ground, uplift of the ground due to the magma being present is yet showing us the magma is rising in the central part where the power plant is there. That is pointing to extension going on in that region. The rift is opening and the magma is rising closer to the surface. That puts that region in a, you know, on, under our watch. And that's on the, also we have a uh, now updated hazard uh, in that area, which extends the area of the hazard near the Blue Lagoon and the Hagerfeld. So I have a video about this from the two past eruptions uh, in the Little Khorto and the Fegedesio volcano. We had similar situations. Watch them. They're interesting. Magma is sinking rapidly, and that is the evidence we have from the seismogram. The purple line that you see there, and it shows the low frequency bubbling magma line, is actually sinking. That means getting further away from the uh, our detectors, practically. But the uh, magma is there; is not disappeared; is not you know just vanishing. Is there, and we can see it is erupting as lava. It is deep now, it is the deep source is going. But it may be if a new batch of magma comes, extension of the you know, fault lines create more space for the magma from the mantle to come up in the magma chamber and start to you know to evolve and then eventually erupt as a basaltic lava. It may again come back. We had that situation with the Fregadesio volcano. Merodery volcano didn't erupt after it sunk completely. But <clears throat> next year of it, we have the Little Horto this year. And it's very possible that this volcano has been very bigger than the Merodelo. It's quite in the size of the Fregadesvio. Uh, let's see if it goes the way that it went uh, in 2021. Uh, the moment is erupting, as you can see. It's quite tired. Magma is just sticky and just a little bit not as runny as it was. Also, there are uh, lava tubes feeding it to the surrounding environments, maintaining the lava pools that we have down there near Meridoro. Sudden plunge in tremors. Yesterday, we, we had a very strange behavior. We had a near surface eruption. And today, we have a continuation of the plunge that has started yesterday. So we are now below 1,000 micromillimeter and that means reduction in activity although our cameras are looking at the more we get near the evening the activity is less and as you can see here practically nothing we the lights you see are Reykjavik of course and you can even notice the cars and the vehicles moving but the tremors have reduced so we have to see